Okay, so I want to um, just talk about, you know, having this, you know, you've had a very unusual life. Um, and we all have, right? We've all had our, you know, on the surface, everybody can look away, but most of us have a lot of different things that, but as a five, finding out you are a projector and a fifth line um, <clears throat> and finding all that out on the, a magical human design place like Ibiza, I'm wondering um, how that affected your ability to like really understand yourself. Did you feel like that gave you like profound insights or did you already know those things about yourself? As I said, I knew everything you told me. I knew, I even knew that I could only eat at night or that I like to eat at night. I mean, I've always known these things. I mean, my intuition, my, uh, there is a voice that speaks. And, you know, the problem is that with an open, when my, I've got a completely open mind, it's mm -hmm. uh, you're in that game, you know, you're in the mind game, whether you like it or not. If somebody doesn't explain to you, look, your mind's great for picking up things and then re waiting to release them to others when you're asked to. Yeah. I think in general, anybody who is very open, regardless of which energy type, uh, it's a difficult task because, you know, you just don't have a lot. <laughs> that's consistent about you yeah uh but having said that it doesn't mean that i did it didn't you know awake you know it, it did give me a little dingy dingy because basically i started uh, to learn to relax because you know and this is an advice for all projectors there's very little you got to do is just start to relax and get out of that buzz yeah Right. I mean, it's different for you, I guess. I don't know because you know you're you're, a, if I remember, you're a triple split, correct? Yes. Yeah, yes. So you, I'm triple. So you have three split. motors. You bridge my splits, so just so you know, we're ah. single split. And I was just sitting here thinking, oh, isn't it interesting? Because you're in Rome, so you're it's already evening there, so it's getting dark, and you're in direct light, and I'm direct light, and it's daytime and sunny here, so we're in our correct. We're in the duality. Um, right in our <laughs> duality, and and then you bridge my, all my splits. And, um, but what's really, this is what I was thinking, you know, kind of contemplating before we got on and started having all of our technical problems was how comfortable I feel with you because it's an interesting dynamic because you bridge all my splits, but you do not define any new centers for me. So I feel very much at ease because I feel like I know who I am in a way that feels recognized. It feels like it can flow. And then that made sense when I looked at that and I was like, yeah, well, there's not some new definition that is something I'm not used to. There's just a connection between the centers that I already know in a way that feels really, feels really good. But you and I have no electromagnetics and we have no, um, companionship channels. We just have Compromise and, and compromise. dominance. Yeah. So, you know, that's interesting to think about. And one of the dominance is you have the 1057, and I just had, or not dominance, one of the compromise. I have the 57, and, you know, your splenic, I have a defined spleen, but I'm not, that's not my authority. And I'm only in the last couple of years really coming to understand my intuition on any way, shape or form, right? I haven't trusted it. I haven't really even had enough belief in it to look for it. And recently I'm becoming aware of that, of that ability. But, you know, when I'm with some, you know, in your presence where you have that full channel, there is this little bit of like, you know, splenic envy, intuition envy that comes up, then it's interesting to see how that is in the chart as well, you know? So 